Welcome all. This is the 24th of July, 2023. This is the Jenkins Governance Meeting. Topics I've got on the list include news, uh, report on action items, then Jenkins board and officer elections in 2023 and community activity, including several items there. Artifactory bandwidth reduction, prototype JS, HTML unit three. Any other topics that need to go on the agenda today? Okay, then let's go ahead with the news items. Thanks, we're looking forward to the release Wednesday of 2.401.3. It will be a security release as announced in the advisory's mailing list. So that means the weekly will also be a security release. And to make that job easier, right now merges are, merges are paused to the master branch of Jenkins Core. Uh, Alex, did I get that correct? Yes. Okay, great. 2.414, released now almost two weeks ago, has, has been chosen as the baseline for the long-term support release. And release candidate due August 9th, with final release August 23. We know that backporting of the security advisory will be needed. Oh, my keyboard is no longer active. Oh, that's why. Got it. Just a moment. Come on. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not sure what reload. Fine. Okay. Any comments or other things on the action, on the news? Come on. Okay, action items then. We had one archive the governance doc, governance meeting notes. So that archive has been completed, but Alex has suggested if, as a topic for discussion today, should we consider a switch to using HackMD and retire this long Google Doc as it's as it is? Uh, Alex, Mark, go ahead. Mark did just a great presentation. Why I'm not a big fan of the Google Doc. If it loads, it takes years, at least for me, to load the I think 200 pages we have at the moment. And the idea to use would be HackMD. That's the same the infra team uses allowing features like pushing directly to the to their repository and we could configure it to push with the governance repository and retire the google doc totally to simplify the workflow but if given it's marked who does take the notes i think it would be up to you to if you want to use that or not <laughs> yeah i've found hackmd to be more difficult for me at least during note taking but i'm i'm open to it it's it's easy enough to truncate this document or to create a new one so that we don't have a, a, a very long document like we do right now. I'm hesitant to go to HackMD unless others find compelling reasons just because I find it more difficult to, to watch and view the note taking from HackMD than from, than from a Google Doc. Comments from others. Uh, do you feel feel like, hey, that would be an improvement? Uh, How about the following? I think, oh, yeah, ahead, uh, we could gain a little bit on the um, speed, of course, um, but for the ease of use, uh, <laughs> I'm not so sure. I uh, also use IKMD, and frankly, I'm struggling more with IKMD than I'm struggling with Google Docs. Yeah, but I'm struggling also with Google Docs, of course. You know, as long as soon as you want to change, you know, the, the zoom ratio, for example, you lose some of the commands and so on. It's not that good of thing. But maybe I'm not investing enough time into IKMD to manage to do it. I saw Damien uh, week after week entering uh, text into the IKMD document without suffering. Uh, I guess so. That can be done, but I guess it depends on the person. And as you are the final user entering <laughs> documentation, Mark, I guess it's up to you. 
Okay. So uh, how about the following then? As a proposal, let's test drive next week, next meeting on HackMD, just to see, because that way we can we can watch it and see. And if it's if it's a workable experience, great. Would that work for you, Alex? Yeah, sounds good to me. I think okay. I dropped the link of the workspace I created for demo purposes a bit above. Yeah, it's right there. Great. And I don't think I've got access to that workspace, but I, I assume I can request that access and we'll test drive it. But you know, when uh, somebody is um, uh, trying to modify the document while you're taking notes, you have to interrupt your flow in order to accept if the people are not yet part of the document editing, you know, on Google Docs right there. I made the modification earlier in the meeting and you would have to click OK uh, if, you know, earlier um, up or upper in the document and you know it kind of breaks uh the flow of editing because you have to accept modifications um supplied by the other users in icmd as long as you've got the link and you are signing i guess you can edit without the real author to accept your modifications so that could be a plus for icmd maybe yeah uh, we've and one of the one of the things we dreamt of years ago from Google Docs was non non editors being able to make useful contributions, but the reality has been it just doesn't happen, <laughs> and therefore yeah. there's there's no no value to to something that never happens. Good, let's try HackMD next in two weeks, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, any any other on HackMD before we go to the next topic? Okay, so the next one is a retrospective on the signing certificate renewal process. I've not made progress in the last two weeks on this one. It's I've got some notes in the uh, in the retrospective, but it needs many more. There's a detailed list of timeline for MSI and timeline for Linux, and already in the timeline there are some points of oh wow that was a mistake. It shouldn't have happened so late. Just the start of this timeline is dismayingly late. And so, so there, there are things to improve there that already are obvious just by creating the timeline. I'll, I'll do more work on that over the course of the next two weeks and have a good report for next, next meeting on, well, inviting others to give, contribute their ideas on ways to improve the process. Next one was pull requests to convert us from subprojects and SIGs to working groups. No, no progress there. Next topic then was Jenkins board and officer elections. I'd like to get us started early on this one. Last year, we were a little late getting started on it. So it's we're now in July, about to enter August. And in November, we would run the elections so that their results can be announced in December and new officers and new board members can take, take up those possession, positions. Uh, last year, we had Damien Duportal run it um, because, well, because the infra officer had typically run it this year i'd propose since neither alex nor i are up for election this year let's have the two of us run it rather than damien who is up for election alex would you be willing to join me in this yeah sounds good to me i mean the process is not that complicated it's m largely a communication process and a, a gathering and inviting and encouraging process Great. So I'll put that into our action items and okay. sorry, Uli, we're not hearing you. Did you have a comment? Well, we'll look to to we'll look for Uli when he's back and see if he has additional additional concerns there or proposals that we need to discuss. Okay, next topics. Then we're on relative to community activity. 
uh, Artifactory Bandwidth Reduction Project it has been an infra project for uh, many months. What happened was we'd, we've detected that some abusers had been misusing Jenkins repo.jenkinsci.org bandwidth to the point where we were able to block one IP address and save 20 terabytes a month. Uh, but JFrog has asked for further reductions and their next recommendation is please password protect the mirrors like Maven Central and JGit and others that we use to mirror other repositories. That proposal, I was worried, hey, it could be breaking for lots of uses of Jenkins casual developers because it would require authentication in order to access those mirrors. There is now a proposal out for a limited approach to that to password protect our cache of Maven Central and rely on the defaults that Maven provides to always be willing to pull from Maven Central without having to list it as a repository. I've scheduled a session to talk with the security team and the infra team on Wednesday about the topic with this idea to see if we can get agreement that it makes sense to, to immediately stop mirroring Maven Central through a public repository, and then we can revisit whether we should mirror the others. The data results show that Maven Central is about 75 or 80 percent of the volume that we do compared to what Jenkins releases are. So there's a chance that this will already be enough for JFrog to say, hey, good enough, you don't have to password protect others. If we have to password protect others than Maven Central, it's more complicated because then we must change POM files. Questions or comments on the bandwidth reduction project? Okay, next topic then was prototype JS. Basil, do you want to take us through this one? Uh, not particularly. Okay, all right, no problem. So I'm happy to to give my description of it. It is that we're we're seeing progress. The tracking sheet shows that progress. Uh, the credentials plugin. And I thought I had seen this one actually now released. So maybe I'm mistaken there, but there was the declarative. There's a part two. Oh, there's a part two. Oh, thank you, Basel. Okay. So declarative pipeline that two weeks ago had not yet released has now released. And the, the Blue Ocean pull request has been merged, but not yet released. So we're seeing, seeing further progress. One of the concerns that that for me is worth worth a little bit of worry is that some of the company maintained plugins that are relatively high on the list are not things that we can test. And in order to implement these, we really owe it to ourselves to test the implementation interactively. The Artifactory plugin, the Fortify plugin, uh, Coverity, the X-Ray plugin for Jira, and QTest are all examples of plugins that look to be owned by companies and, or owned by is the wrong way to say it, maintained by companies and needing special services in order to test them, to verify them. So my sense right now is we may need to, may need to ask them to make special requests to those maintainers to ask them to implement the, the changes. Comments or concerns there? I just wanted to say uh, thank you to Rahul for implementing the prototype fixes for Git parameter and um, active choices because both of those were difficult PRs to file. And they've both been released now. Oh, good. okay. So Active Choices has been released. Good. Great. Thank you, Rahul. Thanks very much. Anything else on Prototype JS? 
Next topic then was HTML unit three um, upgrades. And there it, it looks like it's continuing, although the, the pace is not as, as rapid as with prototype JS. I'm not, I'm not overly concerned by it in that it's testing upgrades, not upgrades in core function or in functionality that's visible to end users. So latest status on the tracking sheet shows this. And before we get to red, other than the, Ch the Chinese localization plugin, we're all the way down into the 20,000 installations. Any concerns there or items of, of worry? Okay. Last item is just a reminder that the midterm evaluations are complete for Google Summer of Code projects. Continuing, we've got about another four or five weeks before the end of the projects. Any other topics we need to bring to the meeting? Uli, you had a comment earlier, possibly on the elections. Was there a concern there? Yes. Um, is my microphone all right now? Working okay. great. So uh, from the board document, it looks like Alex and I were elected last year. That means that the other three people are up for oh, re-election. Oh, oh, so I've, oh, my mistake. I've been, I was not elected last year i thought i was huh okay no uh, from okay. the link you are your uh, time uh, is up for a re-election this year i think okay so then that i think mm -hmm. it then doesn't make sense for me to lead it yeah. would it be okay alex if we had you and uli lead it yeah i think i will help with alex to get this done Great. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks for correcting, detecting that mistake. Thank you. Thank you. Any other corrections we need to make or updates? All right. Let's. Let's call it a meeting for today then. Thanks very much for your time. Maybe um, one thing after the record. You bet.